Anyone can get pimples no matter the skin type. And when we do, it can really affect our self-esteem in a negative way. You said it, brother. But don't worry, in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys 7 tips to have clearer skin. Quick disclaimer, I'm not a dermatologist of any sort, and you should be taking advice from them instead if you have any type of skin condition. Whatever I'm about to share has worked for me for some time to get decent skin like this, so if you're interested, let's go. Tip number one, stop touching your face. Touching your face is that one habit that can really be a struggle to get rid of. And no, I'm not going to lie, I catch myself doing this a lot during work and the worst part of it is the spread of germs and bacteria from your hands to your face and that can lead to clogged pores and potentially a breakout. Wanna hear something crazy? Research has found that our keyboards have 20,000 times more bacteria than our toilet seats. Even if it's equally dirty, it's messed up. Alright, just imagine touching your face after using your laptop or your phones that you haven't cleaned for months. So stop touching your face because that can often lead to scratching, squeezing out a blackhead or even popping a pimple which leads to my next point. That is, resist the urge to pop a pimple. Yes, we all know that feeling, that satisfaction of squeezing using that pimple. Yeah, bad idea. Popping your pimple actually tears the skin, leaving it very vulnerable and in some cases, more bacteria and unwanted oils will end up further into the skin which leads to a bigger pimple plus you're definitely going to get a scar. Yeah, do you see all these scars on my face? You wanna know how I got these scars? Yeah, it's actually from all those times where I could have kept my hands to myself. Yeah, don't make the same mistakes I made, so don't ruin your precious face. Alright, so moving on with tip number three, have a proper skincare routine. Some of you might be thinking, nah mate, we're men, we don't have to take care of our skin. If that's you, you're highly mistaken my friend. Just like our teeth, our skin is constantly exposed to contaminants, so Take care of it before you hit the point of no return from the inevitable aging process. If you don't know anything about skincare, don't worry, it's not as complicated as it seems. Just remember these three fundamental steps. Cleanse, moisturize, and protect. Cleansing is pretty much cleaning your face and removing any dirt or substance with facial product and this should ideally be done twice a day, once in the morning and once at night. So step number two, Moisturize. This should be done right after you cleanse your face because it helps protect the skin barrier from irritation and not moisturizing after you cleanse your face is going to leave your skin feeling very dry which is incredibly bad for your skin. What I'd recommend is to have a dedicated moisturizer for the day and for the night as well as an eye cream. And the last step, protect. A simple yet crucial step, be sure to wear sunscreen during the day to protect your skin from harmful UV rays that can cause wrinkles and worse yet, cancer. And if you guys want to see my step-by-step -step skincare routine, be sure to let me know down in the comments. Tip number four, take care of what you eat. Ever had a greasy meal and end up having a pimple the next day? Yeah, it sucks, right? And unfortunately for me, my skin is super susceptible to unhealthy foods. And the reason for this is because certain foods will raise blood sugar levels more quickly than others. And when it does, our body will release this hormone called insulin. And excessive insulin is going to cause our body to produce more oils hence increasing the risk of acne. I don't want to get into too much detail here, but try reducing on foods that are considered high glycemic carbs or foods that are high in saturated and trans fat. Also, research has found that consuming dairy products can cause acne in some people, but not for me, so see how your skin reacts to certain foods and avoid them if your goal is to have flawless skin. And no, I'm not trying to say to give up on healthy foods entirely, but you gotta remember that it's all about the balance. Tip number five, drink more water. I'm sure you've heard this a million times that drinking water is super beneficial for you. Well, it's true and you should. Have some water now. I'll wait. Done? Drinking more water is going to leave our skin feeling hydrated and not having enough is going to cause our skin to go dry which can trigger excess oil production that could contribute to acne. Also, drinking more water is going to promote detoxification which removes unwanted toxins in the body naturally and helps with regulating blood sugar levels. Bottom line, having a healthy water intake can really help your skin feeling hydrated. Tip number 6, control your stress levels. Stress, the inevitable yet essential part of our lives. Honestly, I don't think stress is all that bad because personally, stress pushes me to the limit and motivates me to reach certain goals. However, too much of it can definitely be detrimental to your body and your skin. And what happens when we're feeling stressed out is the body will naturally release cortisol, which is the stress hormone. And what that does is it increases oil production in the skin, which leads to clogged pores 
and the result of that is an acne breakout. So remember to always take a breather or slow down with whatever that's causing you to stress out, all right? Last but not the least, change your pillowcase. Probably not what you expected, right? Ever been so tired from work or from the gym that you decided to go to bed without showering or washing your face? Guilty. Nothing wrong with that unless you don't change your sheets the next day. And if you do this for a prolonged period of time of sleeping on the same set of dirty sheets, you're likely going to break out. Just like with anything, our pillowcase and sheets can collect dirt and bacteria and some people even sweat in their sleep. So all of that bacteria is going to inevitably be transferred back to your skin and your handsome face and cause your pores to clog up and BOOM! pimples. So what I recommend is for you to change your sheets once every few weeks at a minimum. So that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it and if you learned something new today, be sure to like, subscribe and tap that notification bell. We're almost hitting a thousand subs and I just want to say I appreciate all the support and I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, stay dapper.